Today I am going to solve activity 2.7. In question 1, you have been given a number and you are supposed to find out the check digit using the ISBN 30 method. Now let me explain the answer. This is the answer to this question. Uh, you In ISBN 13 method, you divide a number into odd and even places. Like suppose 9 is standing at first place which is an odd place then 8 is standing at at the third place which is an odd place then fifth then seventh place then ninth place and then eleventh place so all the, the digits standing at the odd uh, places will be added together first in point number one so I have added 9 and then 8 and then 5 and then 0 and then this 5 and then this 5 the answer is 32 in the second step what you will do you will separate the even digits this digit the digits standing at even places like 7 is standing at uh, place number 2 at place number 4 we have 1 at place number 6 we have 1 at place number 8 we have 4 at place number 10 we have 7 and at place number 12 we have 9 now we, we have added these digits together and and for the uh, and in order to comply with the formula we have to multiply the, these uh, numbers with 3 also so uh, i have added all these digits of uh, at the even places together and to get the, the answer is 29 and I, and I have multiplied it with 3 to get the final answer in step number three, you add up the answers of step number one and step number two like this. And uh, whatever answer and, and whatever answer you will get, you will divide it by 10 in ISBN 13 method. Now the answer was 119. I have divided it by 10. The quotient is 11 and the remainder will be 9. We have got 9 as the remainder. Uh, the whatever remainder you will get in, in uh, we have got 9 as a remainder in ISBN 13 um, uh, you subtract the remainder by 9 we have got 1 and 1 is the check digit of this calculation that can be written in the end like this uh, you can write uh, you, that, can, that can be written in the end like this uh, to tell that this is the uh, check digit now let's move on to question number 2 in which you have been given two numbers and you have to calculate the check digits using both methods modulo 11 also and ISBN 13 also so let me go to the calculation for, for the first number of question number two I have written the number and now I have started uh, solving it using the ISBN 13 method you can see that I have divided the odd digits um, the, the number into odd places 1 3 5 7 9 11 and i have divided the number into even places 2 4 2 4 6 8 10 12 now uh, i have added together the numbers standing at the odd places and my answer is 7 now i have add, added together numbers standing at the even places these are the even places in order to comply with the uh, method of uh, ISBN 13, I have um, multiplied the fi final answer with 3. So uh, the, the sum was 15. I have multiplied it with 3 to get the answer 45. In the end, I have to in step 3, I have added, I have added together the uh, answers of step 1 and step 2 and have divided them by 10. And my final sum is 53. I have divided 53 by 10. My remainder is 3. Uh, the, uh, I have subtracted uh, 3 from 10 in order to get 7 which is the check digit. I am using the same first number to calculate the uh, check, uh, check digit using modulo 11 method. In modulo 11 uh, method you write the number uh, in first row and in second row you write, give assigned weightages to these numbers. Um, you in the second row you assign weightages to those uh, to the numbers and as you can see uh, that while calculating that check digit uh, we can uh, we start the weightage start from two not one because for first 
for the, for uh, place number one we are calculating the uh, check digit so we will start the vintages from so we will start the vintages from two two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now we will multiply every digit with its weightage 2 into 13 then we will write a plus sign in between then we will multiply this one with this 12 then we will multi uh, and we will add uh, write a plus sign in between then we will then we will multiply 3 with 11 and we will add a uh, put a plus sign in between so we will keep on multiplying every uh, digit with its weightage in order to get the uh, final answer uh, we will multiply 1 with 9 then we will multiply 1 with 8 then 0 with 7 then 0 with 6 then 0 with 5 then 4 with 4 with, then 2 with 3 then 8 with 2 uh, then uh, we, will, we will add all these values together to get the final answer but in modulo 11 you do not divide the answer by 10 you divide it by 11 so we have divided our final answer by 11 and our remainder is 4 in the end we will subtract this 4 from 11 to get our check digit we are solve, going to solve part 2 of question 2 in which you are again given a number i have separated the odd places and even places the numbers uh, and uh, now and i have added the numbers that uh, numbers standing at the odd places you can see uh, i have added the numbers standing at the odd places uh, in step number two i have added all the numbers standing at the even places and have multiplied them by three this is the answer in step number three i have added the answers of step number one and two and have divided by 10 uh, my remainder is zero um, and according to your book if zero is the remainder then it is it will not be subtracted by 10 it will be considered as a check digit uh, you can see this from your book that if the remainder is zero then this value will be used as a check digit otherwise the any other remainder uh, digit will be subtracted from 10 to get the check digit for the second part i have again used this uh, the same number and i have allo allotted uh, allocated weighting weighing values to them uh, starting because we now at this time we are supposed to calculate the check digit so we have uh, started assigning the weighing value starting from 2 um, because if, at number 1 we are supposed to calculate the uh, check digit now for step number 2 I am multiplying every digit with its weighing value uh, I am multiplying 9 with 13 then I am multiplying 0 with 12 then I am multiplying 9 with 11 then 8 with 10 then one this one with nine then this two with eight then this one with seven then this two with six then this three with five then this five with four then this four with three and then this in the end uh, i will multiply four i have multiplied four with two uh, then i have added all these values together to get the final answer which is 395 for step number three i have divided 395 by 11 my remainder is 10 and according to your book 10 is the remainder if your uh, 10 is the remainder you, as you can see this from your book that if 10 is the remainder while calculate in it remain if the remainder is 10 then the check digit x will be used so, so you will write that as the remainder is 10 so x will be the check digit so this was so this was activity 2.7 i will solve activity 2.8 next time thank you